Our story begins by the plants, which grow their roots in the soil for the uptake of nutrients. In turn, the plant roots excrete exudates, which are sugars. Bacteria can use these sugars and start to develop on the small particles in the soil. The sticky situation that results from the bacteria glues the different particles together. These bigger structures are known as microaggregates. Then, fungi have space to grow hyphae networks through pores between the microaggregates. These networks of tiny, almost root-like structures can become kilometers long and maybe as thin as one cell. When the hyphae is built, the networks reaches multiple microaggregates that are secured in larger structures. These structures are known as macroaggregates. The space between the different aggregates becomes even greater, which has a positive influence on the soil. It makes the soil more permeable for water, nutrients, plant roots and other soil organisms. This stimulates the health of the soil food web. The situation just presented is how this process functions under natural and balanced circumstances. In agriculture, tillage is used for several purposes, such as weed control, incorporation of plant residues and easier sowing. However, another consequence of tilling is the destruction of hyphae. As a result, macro aggregates can form less easily, which may lead to reduced permeability for water and nutrients. Additionally, the mobility for plant roots and organisms is limited. Therefore, an unhealthy soil and less plant growth could follow. So, let's go back a bit. We need to learn from nature by better incorporating hyphae networks into our agriculture systems. Because if we succeed, healthy soils and a sustainable future lie ahead.